Hey guys, Dylan from the Geek Duo here, and today I'll be bringing you my reaction to My Hero Academia Season 5, Episode 102 in total. I forgot to check again, but this one's titled Off to Endeavor's Agency. Hawks acts strange when he meets Endeavor and his work study students on their way to Endeavor's agency. Now, as I said, I'm rather annoyed that this arc is being done now. Well, it is a short arc. I'll give it that. It's short. Just, uh... I think it's like five, six chapters. Uh, what is it? This is the Endeavor Agency arc. Uh, it's 11. But that will probably translate to like three, four, five episodes max, plus we've already got two episodes that have touched on elements of this, so it probably won't be that long before we get to the arc that's meant to be here, but it does mean few a few things in this arc aren't going to make sense. But also it looks like there's no episode for next week. So, hmm, I guess we'll just have to wait for the show to come back. Let's get this episode started in three, two, one, go. A few weeks ago in Kyushu. Flashback to when they were last together. That makes sense. All right, he's talking to Darby. Do you gotta fucking pay for it? <laughs> Dobby's not an idiot. He's going to be cautious. Hey, it's best genist. <laughs> that makes sense. Without a long, <laughs> it's kind of. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a stress ball or. A plushie or what? He brought out his wing blade.
was not expecting this. What the hell? Are we getting an English opening? No. Uh, I don't know why this is funny. Oh, hello. Interesting. It's a very interesting opening. Very interesting. That's good. I don't think this was in the manga. Mr. Deku, your dancing and singing was amazing. Thanks for the fun show. There was more, but... Oh yeah, crackhead, Izuku. <laughs> She's a good mum. Both of them got set off. He got cemento says his escort. Okay. She's still worried. Slide and go. This is not the voice I was expecting him to have. I know that was probably Fox, but it looked like Fox Coffee. <laughs> oh. 
fucking guy looks bored. Is that an All Might scarf? I don't have scarves in my merchandise line. Yeah, I think it's his face. Yes, they are. <laughs> that was completely unprompted unpro in the middle of the street. We've been walking for like 10 minutes. It's still in their windows. <laughs> uh, it is weird. That's fair. Oh, he's burning up his jacket. He's a comet. Yeah, I don't think glass is going to do well against fire. This quirk is interesting. Enlightened fallen knight. Messenger of Pluto. I'm assuming he means the Roman god. So messenger of death, I guess? <laughs> yeah. He's got a lot better at flying. Just a little faster than the three of them.
There's nothing. I I mean, light that brings darkness. Meta Liberation War. We've seen that book at least three times this season. I mean, he did say that to what? Oh, you got. So did he highlight in um the kids as well? Whose voice was that? Hey, it's burning. And, uh, she's the only one whose name I remember. She's got a mad look in her eye. She's like a mix of Ragdoll and Mirko. I remember his quirk, but not his name. (laughs) 
I'm just reading a book. You know it's important when Hawks is serious. Oh good, you're only a little dense. Let's be honest, I wouldn't have picked up on it any quicker. I cannot read any of these words. I wish I could. <laughs> the enemy is the liberation. <laughs> it's the Liberation Army. They number. Why am I reading this? It's down the bottom of the screen. Yeah. See that the four months time I understood. Well, this is, I almost said peaceful, but then it went to that. Ooh. Very slice of life. It was a bird. It's another bird. Not really much to talk about in this ending. Oops. accidentally pressed that a little too early but okay so it seems like there's going to be 
minor snippets of the important parts of the previous arc tied in to the main bulk of this and then they're going to have a flashback arc leading into the one that's meant to be after the Endeavor Agency arc. It makes sense, but I'm still not overly fond of breaks in chrono chrono chronological order. I was trying to... Is chronology the word? I don't know, but yeah. Even though um, this... The arc that's meant to be playing now is technically a flashback as it happened before the joint training arc. It didn't happen before it in terms of manga, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, overall that was a good episode. There were a couple of things that were different from what I remember the manga to be. Better when I say different. So that's always a good thing. I don't remember Midoriya's trip home, but it's good we got to check in with Inko and the, again. Him get to tell her about Black Whip and show her Eri's letter. That was nice. What you guys, the people who are anime only, won't understand is why is Hawks working with the that um slide and go and why he's bugged and all that handing out the liberation war book when last we saw he was working with the to infiltrate the league so it seems he's undercover for two organizations which i mean he is don't get me wrong he's definitely undercover for two organizations I mean, technically, he's undercover for three, because he's technically undercover in the hero agency, as no one else knows about his undercover mission. So he's playing the part of an ordinary hero, getting close to everyone, while also being undercover in the League of Villains and the Paranormal Army. So yeah, he's a... Not a triple agent, he's a double agent, but he's a double agent in three organizations. Anyway, other than that, we got to meet probably one of the weirder villains. Just likes to create glass orbs that can do stuff. Tried to trap Endeavor at the behest of someone. We don't know who. But luckily... The kids and hawks were there. And yeah, other than that, we got to meet some of Endeavor's sidekicks, specifically Burning and the one wrapped in bandages. And yeah, that's that's about it. Don't know what happened between Hawks and Best Genus yet. And, yeah, overall it's a good episode. Don't get me wrong, I like this arc. I just wish it was placed where it was meant to be. But, who knows, by the end of this I may have changed my mind. That's happened before, specifically with the Shai Hazaikai arc, where I couldn't stand it, and I actually really enjoyed it in the anime. So, yeah. With that being said, I guess that's all I have for today's episode, so I'll catch you in the next.